Hello YouTubers, Greg Ross, Rat Trapping Tips for the 5th of March, 2022. So I'm just back home now after checking a few properties, traps, and, <clears throat> and that one is a good, nice brown rat I caught on a commercial property. Three from a house, three rats, and three mice from a house. Two rats in the attic, and one rat in the crawl space underneath, along with the three mice. So it's springtime here on Canada's west coast. There's not so many rats around after the cold snaps we've had in, during the winter. Killed a lot of rats off. And, uh, so I'm down to about 20 to 30 rats a month before the cold snaps and I was getting around 150 a month so dramatic drop off so that rat's nicely impaled on the spike on the spikes of the trap that's a classic Norway rat or also called brown rat you can see it's got the white beautiful white stomach underside and the brownie Browny gray fur on the back, white underside, and these are black, pure black, with the dark black backs. Oops, a bit of insulation from the attic. Dark black back and the dark charcoal stomach. And these are three little deer mice. So remember, lots of peanut butter on your bait plate. It's a common mistake is people don't put enough peanut butter on their traps and the rat can hardly even smell it and just walk straight past the trap put a lot on put a f at least a heap teaspoon of peanut butter on your bait plate trap on your traps bait plate at least a heaped teaspoon if not a tablespoon and uh, And don't forget the cinnamon. That's how I carry my cinnamon. And I bowl it like that. And you puff it out onto the bait. Lots of it. And you'll catch the rats. Every rat, every time. So these are all in trapped in places where there is no poison. And they will get fed to my ravens today. Okay, that's it for me for today. Good trapping, and don't forget my ebook. Rat Trapper's Handbook. Available only as an ebook, only from Amazon.com and only for $9.99. Bye.